the, the main word is the mastery, right? You can know 90% of something, but it's all about this 10% that you don't know. So I was searching for, I had some issue with the Google guarantee. That's how I found you. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And this time I have the pleasure of having one of my great students and friends, Maxim. Maxim, great to have you here, brother. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Of course, of course, man. Um, I think that, you know, with, with a lot of uh, business owners who join the program uh, and join Local Service Mastery, their situation is that they've had a lot of bad experiences with marketing agencies before joining Local Service Mastery. And with you, even when we were on, on the first, um, I think, discovery call, like I checked your ranking, like you had a really, really good like results. So I wanted to know, like, first of all, like a little bit about you, about your background, what have you done? But also like what made you decide to all of a sudden as a busy service business owner, uh, learn how to generate your own leads? Uh, so for my background, so as you mentioned, uh, I already had good things going on for my company because uh, I did it for the past, I would say 10, maybe 12 years. Um, I come from the IT background and, um, but I did a lot of different things. I worked as a low voltage engineer where I was like connecting low voltage stuff and building the servers and stuff like that. And then because of that, out of the curiosity where all this hype train of the escape room started. Uh, I said, why not to try? Because it was a really low investment and I can build everything myself because it's all low voltage stuff. And we did it. But after you build something, you need to find a way for people to know that you have this product. And that was around right. like 10 to 12 years ago. And that's when we started to discover all this online marketing, um, place I would say and it's it was exactly by the time one of my good friends uh, he finished his classes how to build the websites and everything and he built our first website and our first booking system from the scratch we haven't even used anybody back then for that and that's how it starts rolling and that's how I started to uh, learn the system about like Yelp, about Google, about, I don't remember if it was a Bing back then, up and running, but Groupon was really, uh, yeah, was like really a decade high. ago, Groupon, uh, maybe li even a little bit more, like Groupon was like huge. Really hot, really hot. And then from there, uh, we all grew, you know, like my friend, he learned how to do websites properly. I gave him a lot of clients and that was by the time I entered the garage door business, my friend opened garage door company in Chicago and I helped him. So I just tied this guy, this guy, so he can build a website for him and he learned. So from this background, when I moved to Ohio and I opened my own company I already had this 10 years baggage and I knew the structure how to bring people and how to um, make people to find you and uh, when I found your program and the way I found it because like you know in everything and, and that's the name of your course like the the, the main word is the mastery right you can know 90 percent of something but it's all about this 10 percent that you don't know so I was searching for I had some issue with the Google guarantee that's how I found you and I was looking for the small because Google guarantee is kind of like really packed, really small engine that like it's not that many of adjustments you can do. And I was like, it still have to be some things that I don't know that will like just, you know, turn uh, it a notch up. And then I found your podcast. Um, 
and yeah, I found this another 10%. And um, I think it's really important to find this 10%. Even if you think you know, it's always good to find this 10%. 100%, 100%. Yeah. And, and I think that, you know, I, I just, um, I got off a call with a, a uh, service business owner is based in, in Toronto, Canada, and he's, he's got like several service businesses running for him. And it was like, oh, I'm trying to play with, you know, with Google ads myself and, you know, trying to do stuff myself. And I think that, yeah, f like everything you can learn yourself but the problem with you know youtube is that you have so much information so like so many opinions that one's taking you towards you know their agenda and the other one is taking you towards their agenda but there is no structure and this is i think what we're trying to do in local service mastery is really having you the structure as a service business owner, it doesn't matter where you're starting off, whether you're intermediate, even if you think you're advanced, or if you're, you know, complete beginner, never open up a computer before. We're taking you through the same steps. So everyone, by the end of it, everyone knows exactly how the whole thing works. And so I'm, I'm happy to, to, to hear that, you know, even through this YouTube video, uh, the podcast interview that I, um, that I did, uh, you were able to find that 1% um, in terms of, of Google guaranteed. But so you never, you never really experience like the whole, like bad marketing agency world, stuff like that. But have you heard about it? Like from friends and stuff like that? Oh, it's, it's, it, it's a really common issue. Uh, I was fortunate and lucky that I didn't because we did use like even with our escape rooms my friend built a website and it was running all organically yelp i was taking care of myself but um the google ads we found company the first time i went to search on google i found a great company in colorado it was amazing guys and they did a great job we, we seen the results and everything um Long story short, the management switched there and we went to a different company that's, that, that we use right now. And they're also like, I never had a bad experience, but my friend, he, <laughs> your potential customer, um, yeah. he, he, he had numerous bad um, experiences where not only when they promise something and they under deliver, but it's also in terms, it, it just like happened two weeks ago. Uh, he had one company, he wanted to restore one of his locations because he have legit locations, everything's good, it's not like... And Google being Google sometimes drops things and it's most of the times no, not even somebody to talk to, right? It's right. all emails, most of the times it's bots. And he hired one of these companies he tried to bring this location up they did it for him and two weeks ago all of a sudden um they tried to take his ownership of his google account oh my god that that, that he just discovered like by, by miracle they tried mm -hmm. to do numerous attempts from all the back doors uh, like at the end they found it and he caught it on time so yeah and and this DNA, you need to be really, really careful. It's not that like you just, it's like identity theft in, in this day. Because Absolutely. if somebody imagined like when, when you work really hard, you build a company, you have great technicians, you have great service, great reviews and everything. It's only a matter of one shady company that takes ownership of your Google account and then it's done. 100%. You will pay rent some, or they yeah. can ruin this account, stuff like that, and it, it's going to be really problematic because it's no more yellow pages. A hundred percent, and it, it, these are yeah, like it's your brand reputation, and they like you said, like a lot of them are no, we'll lease it out for you for a few thousand dollars a month, or they can just um, just you know 
complete ban you uh, from from Google because also if Google sees all these bad practices, they just they don't play games. And like you said, like a lot of times you have no one to talk to. So unfortunately, I hear these stories over and over again, and it happens when you have no idea how the whole thing works. This this is really this is really it. And um, you know, like you're coming from, like you said, like a non-traditional background in the service industry, whereas like you have more of a technical background uh, with low voltage, with, with IT work. But a lot of the, the service businesses, they are run by the technicians themselves who then open up their own business. And they think that, oh, if I'm a good technician, if I'm doing a great job, if I know how to sell, that's it. I'll, I'll have a successful business. But we we all know that this is not the case. Like this is not how things work. And I believe that maybe the most important part of your job as a business owner is to generate new leads, new clients, new customers, new appointments to your business. And of course, managing it from the top so you can manage the, the sales team, so you can manage the technicians, so you can manage the back office, so, so you can manage the marketing aspect Again, you don't have to do it yourself, but at at the beginning, you must know how it's done. So nothing like like the experience you mentioned would ever happen to you. That's uh, That's what I tell to all of my technicians that like, it's not a problem to execute the job. It's the, 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 the whole magic is to get the job. And that's what this course provide. It's the tool that teach you how to get the job and get the good job because it's a lot of different levels of customers that you can get and uh, the goal of every company to get the best customer Um, right so what was your what was your like impression like from you know from the, the the first call you join in i know a lot of people are worried uh I don't know if it's an online scam, like, I don't know, you know, like paying money online, especially if it's, you know, in the four figures, um, you know, multiple thousands of dollars to, to join a, a program. So a lot of people are, are afraid. What was your, what was your experience like? How fast did you see that? Okay. This was a good investment or not. I don't know, but you share, uh, your side of the story. I mean, uh, being, uh, doing business with customers and like being on the customer service side for many years, uh, I always prepare for worth, you see, and, and, and hope for the best. So I'm always come to like new meeting skeptical person because like as e- e- every new business owner at the beginning, you like you're trying to catch any opportunity and you say yes to most of the things. But then when you grow, you learn that it's not how it works. Um, and I mean, if you're a business owner and uh, you're trying to find the services and for example, if you find uh, Lear's course and like, you always need to be prepared for, for first of all, this stuff costs money. And, and you need to know that like, uh, it's, it's not free, first of all. Second of all, you don't need to be afraid because like, I'm telling for myself, I, I was like in this set of mind and, and I'm a really honest person. I'm like, okay, I, I'm ready to spend, for example, from this much to this much money. And uh, worst case scenario, I'm going to lose it and it's going to be, it's going to go towards my taxes because it's a business expense. That That's yeah. the mindset. Worst case scenario, that's what's going to happen. But... Um, after I talked to you for the first time and uh, as you said, like me, myself, I also like people who does actions. So uh, you told me what you, what you offer. And uh, I said, if that's what it is, is that's what you're saying? I'm willing to pay this money. The only mistake I did, and like uh, you people need to take it in, in consideration. You need to free time because 
the amount of information that you're going to get in this course, it's tremendous, especially in my case, I like the stuff that I was going through. I have a team behind me that I was like, oh, we have this idea. We have this idea. So like I was like, you know, delegating this stuff and I maybe I got one third of this course. Uh, but if you're a new business owner and you're trying to build your business by yourself, you need to be prepared. And I would advise you and it depends on what kind of business you have. So for example, I know garage doors, it's most of the year, but we have like slower season. If you are a roofer, winter is dead for you. So try to sign up for the course when it's your slow season. So you can sit, you can do stuff properly because it's not only the beauty of this course that it's all hands on. This course, it's not the one of this like advertising companies when they say, give me a key from your Google account and we will do it. That's not what you want. It's opposite from that. Nobody here will take the keys from your Google account. Nobody needs them. If you need help, you're going to get help but without intervening in your uh, commercial space, being it Google, Yelp, or anything else. But you need this time to properly implement because it's going to be a course of uh, trials, fails, and successes. And without failing, you cannot succeed. You'll try something one, it's not going to work, you're going to get help, you're going to try another thing, it will work. And from there, you're going to build your stuff from scratch. So take this advice, <laughs> slow season. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. So for me, what the, the way I um, advise people um, is unless you're willing to invest a minimum of three to four hours a week, like invest in it. And one of, you know, like, Two out of uh, out of these, you know, four hours, let's say, it's being on the weekly group calls. If you're saying right off the bat that, for example, you can't attend the Wednesdays, paid ads, group calls at two to four p.m. Eastern time, don't join, because the real kicker and the real like benefit is not just the course material, because this is not like. People think of, you know, online courses like, okay, I'm buying something that someone created back, you know, two, three years ago, put it up once and that's it. It's not like this. You'll have all the information. You'll do the implementation either with us. Nowadays, we have like uh, inside our program, we have packages that we build out the first campaign for you. So we're trying to eliminate as much of the fraction and take as little time as needed from you. But... If you want to manage it, if you want to do it properly, you need to treat the time, especially the time of, uh, of the week that we have our weekly group calls as a sacred time. This is no, not taking calls from your technicians, not being with the kids or taking it on the go. No, you need to be in front of a computer, in front of your Google ads, Facebook ads, uh, Google business profile account, whatever it is. Because not only that we'll be able to address your questions, but you also get to hear and see what other business owners are facing and understand based on their questions and the response that they're getting, how you're going to improve your business. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're doing garage door, roofing, locksmith, HVAC, plumbing, it doesn't matter. It's all the same structure. It's, it, it all works the same. And that's the beauty of the service industry is I have a lot of business owners who join the program for one business, but they have like two or three other businesses that they're, you know, silent investors or whatever it is. All of a sudden they learn these techniques. Oh, wow. I can do this for this business as well. I can help my wife with her business. I can do this. I can do that. So again, if you're not willing to treat this time as the most important time in your day of the week. And trust me when I say this, this is more important than going out on a job 
and grabbing that 300 to 500 dollars which i know you need a lot of you know a lot of service business owners like you have a lot of expenses and like you feel like oh my god i can't give up on this on this uh appointment or, or on this uh on this meeting but this right now you're building yourself the foundations to grow your business into seven eight and even nine figures in five to ten years right it's not like a major like where it's not a get rich quick scheme there, there, there's no there, there there's no magic to what we do but once you understand it and this is where you want to go you need to know as a business owner to dedicate this time and actually put the work i think uh, also it's like this course is not only important for the new business owners you know who try to build a platform i think um for, for example in my example um i don't think i'm gonna leave this course in any time soon um it's the same thing like uh, certain people specialize in certain things. As an example, like I used to do IT back in the days. I cannot come back to IT right now. Everything changes so fast. If you not 100% involved in a certain subject, you're just out. You, you, you can't come back. And that's the beauty of this course. I don't have to be in a subject. But I constantly can be updated on my things. Google moves so fast, being trying to catch up and, and the, like it's constant, like chat GPT, AI, everything, like every six months something changes, policies changing. Like you can come back in a year and it's totally different world. And like after six months, you can notice your leads are not as good as like six months ago but why because it was certain adjustments that was made and you are not there so i think it's really important for companies also to stay in some form or capacity to have this database and updates and knowledge just to go forward besides building the core i agree and on top of that there's like you know a lot of times we focus when, when especially when you're when you're a new business when, who doesn't know how to generate leads you're focused on the technical aspects oh how do i create my campaigns or how do i structure my you know post or how do i do this technical stuff but the business owners who i see really succeeding in the program and you is a great example are the ones who are working on building a brand and this is maybe a more subtle philosophical um, mindset but it's so valuable because once you understand the mindset of building a brand building a service brand you can withstand whatever storm whatever change is gonna come and you know like whether it's Microsoft Bing or Google ads or what, whatever it is, it doesn't matter because your, your foundation is really strong. And a lot of people, they think like, oh no, let me open up 10 companies, 10 Google ads accounts, 50 Google business profile accounts, all fake, you know, like, no, no, no. You're wasting too much energy in the wrong places. If you focus your energy in one business, and build it as if it's a generational business, not a business that you're opening now and in you know five years you're gonna try to sell it or no. First of all, never sell a service business, guys. This is my first advice. Service business is a cash flow cow. This is something that produces you the money to do investments later on, whether it's real estate, whether it's whatever it is. But it's a cash flow. So once you build it correctly, and once you understand that the best way to do it is building it through a brand, like the technical aspects, yes, this course will help you. But I, I feel like my job in, in the program is giving you the tools of teaching you how to think, but also teaching you how to think. Teaching you, okay, let me, all right, now, I know that this is the season, the, 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 the fish is more 
closest to shore. So let's let's you know let's focus on this. So it's more about thinking you, uh, teaching you how to think rather than just teaching the tactics. Do you agree with this? Of course. I mean, it depends what what your goal is a company. For example, my goal as a company is a long long term game. That's why we care about reviews. That's why we care about brand recognition. That's why, and, and I know exactly because I have, I know a lot of other business owners who don't care about it. Um, that that's for example why I buy new vents for my guys. That's why I pay three thousand dollars just to wrap it as a, like you know company logos hundred percent full wrap that uh, recognizable. I have this business for almost three years in Ohio, not even that. And I can hear from people, oh, we see you over here, we see you over there. So people already have an eye for it, like, because it stands out and everything. So if you're planning for a long game, that's what you need to do. Like, it's, uh, th th that's the tools for a long game. But short game, it's also an option for someone, but it depends what kind of company you build. Uh, brand recognition, I totally agree with you. It's one of the most important things because if you go to like service company brands like Rotor Router, like uh, Precision in the garage doors, for people, it's already engraved in their minds that like they call every garage door company Precision. For them, th th and that's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. Uh, every plumbing company called Rotor, it doesn't matter the name of the company. Like, I'm talking about majority of people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, Papa what, what you're talking for about, locksmiths, about? Yeah. And like, uh, we have a saying for it. Uh, that's exactly what you was talking about. I said it to my friend. He owns a huge plumbing company in Chicago. And I think around like 15 years ago, he was tired. Uh, it's actually before I met him with my friend who built him his first website. He was tired. He wanted to quit. He didn't want to do anything uh, with plumbing. And it's actually happened because for plumbing, it's not like garage doors. To get the plumbing license, you have to be apprentice for five years and then you do this huge exam and he's finally got his plumbing license he opened his company and then he was about to give up and it was one thing i told him i'm like listen you can give up but just imagine a person who locked in a concrete room and it's no doors and no windows and and the only thing he have it's a crowbar so if he will start knocking all over the room he's not gonna get out but if you'll start to dig in the same spot constantly, like uh, he's going to get out at some point and uh, he's listened to me. He started to dig this hole in one spot and, and he have a huge company right now. So in my opinion, that's the uh, explanation of the long term game. It might be because short term, you can rip off your customers and uh, get more money right now, but Decrease because it's always the scale, right? More money, less reputation, yeah. less quality, not necessary, and vice versa. But depends what you want to do. You want more money today? Yes, it's a short game. You want to build a brand. You want to have successful company. You want something to pass on to your kids. It's always a long term game. And I, I, I tell you what, a lot of people who join the program, and I can tell you this from experience, we, we coach to date more than 120 service business owners. So I've seen a lot, I talk to a lot, and a lot of people start off with a certain mindset. And once they join in, and I have, I have even a company that does between like 15 to $20 million a year, a uh, service, uh, service company. And he was like, I don't want to hear about branding. I'm good doing what I'm doing. But we've been working together. He's part of one, my one-on-one -on -one clients. We've been working together for like four months. And you start seeing the shift that is happening in his mind. Because you can't just rely on paid advertisement. 
paid advertisement is great, but you also want to have that repeated customers. You also want to get the referrals. You also want to get, you know, your your trucks, like you said, that are, you know, moving around Cleveland and everyone sees you and it's like, oh, you're you're engraved. Like you said, you're engraved in people's brain whenever they think about garage or roofing or HVAC or plumbing, whatever it is, you want to be a local brand. So a lot of people start off this way because unfortunately there's a lot of bad um either bad or even miseducation in the service in the service business of how to do things correctly right so you not, like not no only, one teaches you not only that i think in our service community it's a lot of bad influence yeah that, that that's the thing because you like especially in the service area you have a lot of broker companies where these guys just have huge IT departments. All they do is just lead generation. And then they have the small guys in every city. And then they give them this leads and they split 50-50. And that's how it works. And then it gives the mentality of the business. Like, oh, I want to I wanna have it like this. They don't understand like the involvement of these broker companies. They have huge IT departments to create these thousands of thousands of listings and make them up and like stuff like that. So in my opinion, I, I could have gone this route too, but it's, it's, it's not what I want, but it, it's a lot of bad influence on the market. And as you said, the paid advertisement that have to be your first step when your final goal, it's organic. It's when people know who to call without you paying a, I got to the point, it's it, it's funny sometimes, you know, you have busier days, you have slower days. And when you have a busy day and you need to schedule, because in the garage door business, you need to be fast. Uh, people stuck, people either can't park in the garage or they are uh, trapped inside and they need to go somewhere. So if it's not today or tomorrow, you, you're not, you're not going to get this job. And when you're busy, I already got to this point when like I pick up my phone and I hear a call from Google, I'm like, because I know I paid for this advertisement and I already fool. Yeah. So that, that needs to be your mindset. So when you hear that you get the lead from paid advertisement, it's already X on you, you know, because right. you got used to the organic already. And I, 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 I see it as always, it goes end in end. I never tell people don't do paid ads because I think paid ads it's first of all, it's the quickest way for you to start generating leads immediately. If you want to generate leads tomorrow, run a Google ads campaign. Boom, you're up and running. Maybe your results won't be as they will, you know, in three or four weeks, but you'll start generating leads immediately. But when you combine the two, then you're becoming a powerhouse that you have the organic that is coming from here. So you're not dependent on one source. You have Facebook leads that are coming from there. You have Google ads that is coming from there. And all of a sudden you're comfortable because as you mentioned, like sometimes Google for no reason might take your uh, Google business profile. So what happened now? All your technicians are now at home. They, they don't have a work. How long can you retain it as a business? How long will they stay with you when you're not passing them any, any jobs until you figure that out? So you can't rely just on one source. What you want to do is you want to build one source from the ground up, build it, make sure that it's working correctly, and then move into the next avenue. If you start with Google ads, you move to Facebook ads, you, fa you finish with Facebook ads, you move to local SEO, you finish this, then you start like thinking, okay, how do I maintain the branding? How do I do the reps? How do I, how do I perfect my customer service? How do I make sure that every person that I'm, entering their house is going to put a review on my Yelp or on my Google business profile, because this will give me some more client. Like, so it's like, it's an ongoing process, but it all starts from you understanding the fundamentals of how this thing works. And then you can actually expand your mind. And I'm going to say another thing just about the, you know, these companies. I have personally, first of all, believe in karma. So a lot of these lead generation karma 
uh, sorry, a lot of these lead generation companies, they have bad juju, bad karma. Why? Because they're, like you said, they're just trying to rip off people as much as possible. And you're always just dealing with, okay, this website fell. I need to, I need to create new website, new Google business profile fell. Now there's an update. Oh my God, I have 50 uh, uh, GMBs that, that are no longer working. I have, I need to switch uh, credit card processing company. Like there's so much thing that is like, it's not good for you. And a lot of the technicians who start off with this, this is also why they, they don't like staying in the service industry is, is because they think that if you're building a business, this is what it's going to look like. No, no, it's not necessarily like this. And it shouldn't be like this. You want to build a company that you can, that your kids can inherit, that your grandkids can continue working. And, and uh, you know, a lot of the, um, the, uh, the Americans that aren't immigrants or kids of immigrants, they've been working in the trades for three generations. I have, I have people in the program. They're third generation in the business. And this is the mentality that a lot of the, uh, the, the immigrants that are coming in and trying to make a quick buck, you know, because like, oh, I need to get rich today. No, 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 relax. You're doing okay. You have roof over your head. You have food. Your family is safe. Okay. Now think long term. Think how, how you can build something that you'll be proud of leaving it for your kid to enjoy. T totally agree like this aspect what you was talking about about diversity it's really important like uh the matter of fact that i'm saying that like the final goal is organic it's like the longest shot but it's it, it's true <laughs> i also I have a lot of friends in service businesses i also have another friend in chicago and this guy just don't don't understand it but he's the perfect example he was running on google guarantee and I'm like, do you do anything else? He's like, no, it's amazing. I'm busy. I'm this and this and that. And then Google Guarantee is shot for him. In one and day. And then he joined in one day, in one, in in, one, in, in one hour. Yeah. Uh, and then he was running with a um, warranty company. And everything was good and amazing. I'm like, do you do anything else? And he's like, no, I'm busy. I'm good. And then they shot and it's like constant story with him. I'm like, dude, you have to diversify. You need to do Yelp because, and you need to see what works in your area or not. For example, in Chicago, Yelp works amazing. In Ohio, people don't use it as much. So you need yeah. to see like what, what exactly, like, so diversify. You, I'm not saying you have to pay for every platform. You need to know what platform offers what. For example, like Angus List, I'm not gonna touch in any state. And they're yeah. trying to call me and they're yeah. trying to convince me again. And thumbtack the same thing. But you have to diversify. So if you have no nothing, if you have so okay, try maybe Angel List. Because you don't have anything else. But then when you will diversify and you will have the engine running. You can cut the fat. Uh, diversity is really important because maybe one job from here, another job from there, and like by the end of the day, it's 10 jobs a day. Yeah, yeah. So here's the thing with the NG's list and Tamtech that, that a lot of business owners don't, don't take <clears> into <throat> consideration. Those aren't exclusive leads for every... Exactly. Like you're paying to get a lead along with four other people. What's the point of it versus you learning how to generate your own leads on Google? Because most of these companies, guess what they're doing? They're running their own Google ads. So wouldn't you be better if you ran your own Google ads, rank above them, people will click on you that they want to, you want to have a bidding war and you'll be the one who's going to take the job. And you know what you're doing because you know your cost per click, you know your conversion rate, you know your cost per lead, you know your closing rate, you know your average ticket, you know all of this. Now, if you're starting out or a lot of experienced businesses like, like this friend of you, 
they don't know because they think the business is okay i just need to do the job no your job is to be on top of it and know it and once you understand it then no problem you can either take someone take the secretary in the office you can train her you can take what we recommend is taking a virtual assistant in the philippines paying them 350 400 450 dollars a month and they'll work for you as a part-time employee that does four to six hours a day five days a week versus a marketing agency that charges you 1500 2500 3000 4000 dollars a month and give you between one to two hours a month so it's it's all about first mastering knowledge and then you can be okay i i understand it good enough then i can delegate it and i'm a business owner i need to oversee everything from the top but um maxim i, I would love to know first of all what's what's next for you what's your vision for for your company uh couple goals for this year first of all uh I need a secretary. <laughs> uh, and in my case, I prefer to have it here. I have a couple offices. I prefer to have a local person uh, because it's not only like, it's, it's a lot of different stuff. It's a payrolls for the guys. It's answering the calls. So that's my goal number one for this year, by the end of the year. And... Uh, I wait for my winter time so I can keep up with my course. It's 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 a lot. I, I still want to see this tool I haven't touched yet with the chat GPT. I'm really, really. Yeah, the, with the my Randy. So yeah, my Randy yeah. is uh, is yeah is an internal tool that we built that basically it offsets the entire knowledge from the course material and everything that I know into an AI chat platform that people can ask it question 24 seven. And this is something that uh, we introduced recently for our members. Um, amazing, man. What can I wish you, uh, Maxim? <laughs> patience. Everyone patience. need patience. I agree. I agree. I agree. Especially in our day and age that, you know, you're opening up your Instagram in the morning and you see a 16 year old, with a, you know, Ferrari and, uh, you know, like a mansion, a $25 million mansion. You're like, what the hell? Am, like, where am I? So it's like, absolutely. Patience is, is one of the most important traits as a business owner. Um, if you have a, um, you know, a second to share your advice for people who are considering whether they should join the program or not, what would you say to them? Just a couple things. First of all, don't be afraid. Uh, I'm uh, one of the witnesses and as being a member of the course, uh, I know a lot of business owners that join the program. It's not a myth. It's a lot of live people and when you're going to join the course, you will see it yourself. Three times, it's still three times a week, right? It's not more. Yeah. Uh, you can see like 15 to 20 business owners on the phone call, everybody sharing ideas. So it's a live organism. It's not some dummy login and password. It's a live organism. So don't be afraid. The quality of the product is top notch. I don't know any other product like this that I encountered. And I was, I was searching, I was looking. Second thing. Um, so the first one, don't be afraid. It's not a scam. It's all legit. It's all good. Um, second of all, you need to be dedicated. You need to find this free time. And, uh, that's my, that that's the only my regret in this course that I, I joined it in the most busiest time of my business. But as I said, I'm not going anywhere. I will take it slower than anybody else. I'm not in rush. Um, don't afraid, dedicate time and uh, try. And patience. Try. And patience, yes. <laughs> Amazing. Maxim, thank you so much, my friend. Um, as you said, you're not going anywhere. 
and we're happy to have you with us. For those of you guys who are interested in booking a discovery call, joining, learning more, seeing some of the examples of our students, first of all, check in the YouTube, some other testimonials um, um, from other service businesses. And if you're ready to commit to learn it, there's going to be a link down to book a discovery call and we will be happy to help you if, of course, it's something that we feel like uh, relevant for our business because we're not taking any business. It's important to explain. We only work with service businesses, so we don't do e-commerce, affiliate marketing, drop shipping, uh, realtors. No, no. Not, not, none of that. If you're a service business owner and you want to master the art of lead generation, feel free to book a call. Maxim, thank you so much, my friend. I really, really appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you in our upcoming weekly group calls. Take care, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you.